Question number 13 from C34, June 2000, sorry, January 2017 International A-Level paper. Um, here we have a curve C shown in figure 4 which has parametric equations x equals 1 plus root 3 tan theta and y equals 5 secant theta and theta is between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Okay, now the curve C crosses the y-axis at A and has a minimum turning point at B as shown in figure 4. So part A of the question says find the exact coordinates of A. Now A is a point on the y-axis and on the y-axis x is equal to 0. So I know I can find uh, the value of theta where x is. I know that the x-coordinate of A is for sure. I know the x-coordinate of A is 0. I need to find the y-coordinate of A. That's what I need to find. Okay, so if I find the value of theta knowing that that's when x is 0 using this equation, then I can use that same value of theta in this equation to find what y is. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, all right, when x equals 0, I can say 1 plus the square root of 3 times tan theta is equal to 0. So we can say tan theta is equal to minus 1 divided by root 3. Okay, so we have our you can use your calculator but I just want to just uh, remind you of the the triangles that we could use because this looks like one of those exact ratios remember we have a half an equilateral triangle so that's two that's one and that's root three that's the right angle and tan of the angle is one over three so that's the, this is the angle one over three so that angle is going to be uh, 30 degrees so that 30 degrees is pi over six and it's when tan theta is negative okay so it's going to be negative tan because tan is positive in these two but a s t c in where i live we say awful s t c anyway so this is basically um going to be over here where tan is negative all right and it's going to be um minus this is going to be minus pi over six let's just confirm that in case uh we shift tan of 1 minus 1 over 3 root 3 let's just do like this minus you got 1 over root 3 okay and that gives you whoops that gives you minus 1 6 pi minus pi over 6 okay so that's the value of theta so at the point a theta is equal to minus pi over 6 so we can say therefore y is equal to 5 times the secant of minus pi over 6 which is the same as saying 5 over cosine of minus pi over 6 because the, the reciprocal function secant is 1 over cosine um, theta so secant of minus pi over 6 is the same as cosine of minus pi over 6 and the cosine of minus pi over 6 so the cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2 and minus pi over 6 cosine is positive so it's going to be plus root 3 over 2 so it's going to be 5 divided by root 3 over 2 which is going to be 5 times 2 over root 3 which is 10 over root 3 which if we rationalize the denominator will give you 10 root 3 over 3 so it says find the exact coordinates of a so it's going to be 0 for the x coordinate and 10 root 3 over 3 for the y coordinate and there we have the answer to part a okay now part b says show that dy dx equals lambda sine theta giving the exact value of the constant lambda okay so i need the equations okay so we have the equations here and i'm going to find dy dx for this parametric equation which has a third parameter of theta so dy dx okay we're going to find using what's called the chain rule that's equal to dy d theta which is that th the theta is the other parameter multiplied by d theta dx when i find that it will be giving me dy dx okay so that's what we could do here to make this easier so what we're going to do is we're going to find what dy d theta is dy d theta is equal to now the differential of sec theta is uh, sec theta times tan theta 
Okay, that's something that you should have memorized, or no, you don't have to memorize, it's in your uh, formula book. Okay, I'll just, um, I'll just confirm it. You can actually derive it quite easily because it's um, sec theta is one over cosine theta. Okay, and you can actually uh, do find the, the differential of that. Okay, quite easily using like the chain rule because it would be cosine theta to power minus one, and you can you can find it. It's quite it's not that difficult to find it, but it's actually in your formula book. Okay, here we got the differential of sec theta is sec sec x is sec x tan x. Okay, so it's something that you um, you can check from your formula book if you need to. And dx d theta, okay, we'll find dx d theta and then we'll invert it for d theta dx is, well, the one will disappear. You'll have root three times. Now the differential of tan theta is sec squared theta. Okay, again, it's something, that's one of the results in your formula book. Sec theta, tan theta, sorry, gives you sec squared theta. Okay, so the differential of tan x is sec squared x. Okay, so, um, root 3 tan theta its differential will be root 3 sec squared theta okay now so we can say dy dx is going to equal then dy dx will be dy d theta which is this which is 5 times sec theta tan theta divided by root 3 times sec squared theta okay because 1 over will be times d theta dx so you've got to multiply by the reciprocal of this so you'll end up with one over th root three sec squared theta so this sec theta will cancel with this and you're left with a sec theta underneath okay so we're left with five tan theta so you've got five tan theta now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write tan theta as tan theta is sine theta over cosine theta so i'll write this as sine theta over cosine theta and sec theta is one over cosine theta so i'll write the cosine theta over one basically if it's, if it's one over sec theta that's the same as cosine theta over one okay so reciprocal so the cosine thetas cancel out and this is a root three here by the way five over root three okay um yeah so that's equal to five over root three times tan theta which if you rationalize the denominator multiply both top and bottom by root 3 you'll have um, 5 times root 3 over 3 tan uh, sorry not tan theta sine theta sine theta and there we have the answer so lambda which they said is 5 root 3 over 3. Okay, so we found the exact value of that lambda. We knew that it's going to come up as something sine theta. Okay, so it did come out as 5, as 5 root 3 over 3 sine theta. So lambda is 5 root 3 over 3. Okay, now for part C, it says find the coordinates of B. Now, if you remember, B was the turning point of the graph, okay, where the gradient of the graph is equal to 0. Okay, and this is the information that we have. This is the equations, um, the parametric equation of the curve, and this is the expression we just found for the gradient function of the curve. So we know at b, dy dx is equal to zero. So we can say five root three over three times sine theta is equal to zero. So therefore, we can say sine theta is equal to zero. So theta is equal to zero degrees okay so the shear in you know sine theta is zero at zero degrees between zero minus pi over two and pi over two that's the only place it's going to hit zero that's how it looks between this is pi over two and this is minus pi over two okay you can think of it as between these two hit zero um only at zero degrees okay now um so we know that theta is equal to zero so x the x coordinate of this point is going to be 1 plus root 3 times the tan of 0. Okay, the tan of 0 is 0, so that's equal to 1. Okay, so the coordinates of B, the x coordinate is 1. And we know the y coordinate is 5 sec theta, which is 5 over cosine 
of 0. And we know the cosine of 0 is 1. So 5 over 1, which is equal to 5. So the coordinates of B are 1 and 5. Okay, the coordinates of B are 1 and 5. So we now found the coordinates of, of B. Okay, now the next part of the question is asking us to try to change this into Cartesian form, where Cartesian form, the equation is written with just x and y without the parameter, okay, without the extra parameter of the theta. So you want y in terms of x, okay, as you see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we need to see what the equations were before, all right? I just I don't need the limits, that's fine. Okay, so I, I have the equations here. All right, so I need to make y in terms of x. Now, to make y in terms of x, I have to try to link these together somehow so that I can replace one of them um, with the other. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sec theta the subject of this. So I say sec theta is equal to y over 5. I'll make tan theta the subject of this, so I'll say tan theta is equal to x minus 1 divided by root 3. x minus 1 divided by root 3. Now I'm going to try to find some sort of relationship between sec theta and tan theta. Now, there is an identity that links them together, and if you forget your identities, you should never forget the basic one, which is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. If you forget your identities with sec and tan and cosec and cotangent, you can get them all from this very easily. So I want one with sec theta and tan theta. Now I know tan theta is sine theta over cosine theta. So if I divide this by cosine squared theta, and I divide this by cosine squared theta, and divide this by cosine squared theta, I've just basically divided the whole, the whole equation, both sides by cosine squared theta, I'm going to be left with tan squared theta plus 1 equals sec squared theta. So what I can do now is I can replace tan theta with x minus 1 over root 3. So I have x minus 1 over root 3, and that has to be squared, plus 1 equals, and I can replace sec theta with y over 5. So that's going to become y over 5 all squared. Okay, so I'm going to square. Okay, so now we're going to expand this. So we're going to have x squared um, minus 2x plus 1 over the square root of 3 squared is 3. And you've got your plus 1 equals y squared over 25. Okay, let's make this into one fraction. So this is going to be 3 over 3. So you'll have basically under one fraction here, you'll have x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 3 equals y squared over 25 and this gives you x squared minus 2x plus 4 over 3 equals y squared over 25 so now i can multiply both sides by 25 so i get 25 over 3 i'll write it in the same way that you've got it um, x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals y squared. So finally, you can say y is equal to the, um, how do they write it here? Uh, k times. Okay, so you're going to have uh, 5 over root 3 times the square root of everything in that bracket, which is x squared minus 2x plus 4. And if you want to be really precise and extra you want to make this into you have to rationalize the denominator so if you multiply by root 3 both top and bottom you'll have 5 times root 3 over 3 times the square root of x squared minus 2x plus 4 let's see if that is as it should be x squared minus 2x plus 4 under the square root but, um, x squared minus 2x plus 4 that's right and k so k is a simplified third as we can see it's a third good to be found it's simplified so you have to simplify it write it as it's rationalized form so k is 5 root 3 over 3 so here we have our answer in this form and I just stated what the value of the k is in what they gave us and 
there we have it.